Hi friends, hello again. All right, so look, take a look at what I bought home today. This is a uh, Konago Master Light Decor. Now these old bikes aren't made anymore. So when you see them in whatever condition, you have to get them or else you'll lose them. So I got this bike in not too good a shape, but uh, let's take a look at what we got. So the Konago Master, of course, is one of the um, top bikes in the 80s, 90s, and even 2000s. And um, it was known for its um, drawing of the tubes into a star or a diamond shape. So as you can see here, it's tube, uh, tubular. And then here, you begin to see these indentation along the top tube. And then it's drawn again out into it to fit these lugs. It's just beautiful work. Look at that lug. Um, the theme follows on the seat tube here. Uh, circular on the top, drawn into star shape, diamond shape in the center, and then drawn circular again all the bottom back. And of course, the down tube is very similar. So aside from drawing up the tube, the second element that makes this special is the paint. All of these paint jobs are done by hand and is individual. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Watch the seats stay here. Some more. Numbers for 3A07. Drawing back up. This beautiful handicraft here. All right, so while we salivate on the frame. Let's take a look at the rest of the bike. So whoever had this, unfortunately trying to update it with uh, grifters or FX and uh, carbon fork. Um, some of the positives is that they have some nice stuff. So they got some Durace, brakes there, you got Dura Ace, a front derailleur, and then also a Dura Ace rear derailleur. But I think this bike needs to have a campy set on it. It also has a Dura Ace seat post. But I think this bike needs to have a campy set on it. All right, so we get to start working. So we'll see how it goes.
All right, so after all that work, here's what the frame looks like down to its bare bones. Yucky. Need some clean up there. So I went through my parts bin and I found a couple of things. Let me share those with you in terms of um, rebuilding the Comalgo Master Line. Here's what I'm thinking anyway. So, got a couple of stems. This is a uh, three T stem, not so, not too bad. It's really long, it's 130 millimeters. This one, is a Chinelli stem, pretty, but it's 125. It's still pretty long. I don't know, I might find something a little bit shorter, but those are very nice. Um, the bike's gonna need a fork because I don't wanna use that carbon fork. So I looked at this, what I have. I've got a Vetus Dural fork, very nice, but I don't know if, it, if it's fitting for that. Uh, the second one I have is a Bataglin. This is a, probably a 70s fork. Heavy. Or I might go online and find the Precisa fork, which is uh, made for that Fiago Master. Alright, a couple of other parts. I got some Delta brakes. Empty seat post, that should be good. Here's a uh, bottom bracket. We're gonna definitely need this hip set. That's campy. Um, some campy set that I may have to break up. So we move that down to shifter with uh, derailleur and the brakes. Some more can't be headset, some more can't be bottom bracket. So, a lot of stuff laying around. Put them on that set. Find the appropriate fork. I got the headset. Find a nice stem. The bars are Chinelli, so that should be good. Alright, let me know what you think.